All right, thanks, guys. We went 4-1 and one yesterday on our premium picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. It's going to improve our record to 13-4 and four in our last 17 college basketball tier package plays. We're also 10-1 and one in our last 11 NBA tier package plays. And the good news is this. We have another NBA tier package play going off tonight. If you want some more information about that website, link is in the description section below. We are over 1,190 members strong on that site. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page where we do daily premium sports picks on that website. All right, guys, happy Friday to you. The weekend is finally here. Let's go ahead and dive into some NBA games. We're going to start with the Timberwolves taking on the Magic 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Orlando. The Magic's laying 7.5 at home, total at 233 and a hook. We're seeing money on Minnesota, believe it or not. We're also seeing money on the over. Half a point fade of Orlando, movement upward on the total. The Magic open as the eight-point favorite, down to minus 7.5. Total open 231, up to 233 and a hook. Right now, Minnesota is plus 270 on the money line. And of course, as bad as Minnesota's been, they've successfully covered the point spread in two out of their last three games. And as a matter of fact, more specifically, they successfully covered the number against the likes of Miami and Denver during that stretch. Now, the T-Wolves rank in the top 10 in scoring on average per game. D'Angelo Russell, 24 points a game, 4 rebounds, 8 assists while with Minnesota. Malik Beasley, 22 points a game, 6 rebounds while with Minnesota as well. The T-Wolves, as bad as they've been this year, uh, they're actually 15-14 and 14 against the spread when they travel. They also rank the top 10 in road scoring. They're averaging 115 points per game when they travel. Now, Orlando on the other side, they failed to cover the number in five out of their last eight. They failed to cover against the likes of the Pistons and the Knicks during that stretch. And out of their 29 home games this year, they've successfully covered the point spread in just 10 of them. They rank dead last in home scoring on average per game, bottom three in home offensive field goal percentage. They're averaging just 103 points per contest on their home court. And they are shooting just 43% from the field on their home court as well. Now, oddly enough, we've seen a lot of over-adjustment with regard to the markets total-wise. So Orlando is actually 5-0 and to the over in their last five. Also, eight out of their last nine games got over the number as well. Meanwhile, Minnesota 4-0 to the over in their last four themselves. 7-1 to the over in their last eight. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Minnesota plus 7.5. In the over, 233.5 in that game. Next contest, Hornets, Raptors, 730 Toronto. The Raptors are the 13.5 point favorite at home, total at 215. We're seeing money on the Raptors and the over. Half a point move toward Toronto, movement upward on the total. Raptors open 13, up to minus 13.5. Total open 214.5, up to 215 flat. Charlotte's plus 845 for an upset win. Charlotte's also just 40% against the spread in their last 10. Out of their 31 home, uh, I'm sorry, out of their 31 road games, they've been victorious in just 11 of those. Now they rank dead last in scoring on average per game, dead last in offensive field goal percentage. The Charlotte squad is averaging just 102 points per contest. Now the, Hur- uh, the Hornets are currently in 10th place in the Eastern Conference, 18 games under 500. They rank at the bottom 10 in offensive rebounding, bottom 10 in defensive rebounding. And when it comes to uh, being on the road, they're averaging just 100 points per contest away from home. Now, Toronto on the other side, they're a little bit banged up. We have Ibaka, Powell, and McCall all listed as questionable for tonight's action. But the thing with Toronto, they have so much depth. Uh, Pascal Siakam, 24 points a game, 8 rebounds. Kyle Lowry, 19 points a game, 5 rebounds, 8 assists. And Fred Van Fleet, 18, 4, and 7. He's also averaging two steals a game. Toronto, uh, you know, just for semantics, uh, winners of eight out of their last 10. They rank in the top 10 in scoring on average per game, top three in offensive field goal percentage. They are currently in second place in the Eastern Conference, 42 and 16 overall for the year, 23 and eight straight up at home. They rank in the top three in points allowed, top three in defensive field goal percentage. Now, oddly enough, Toronto is 5-4 and four to the over in their last nine. So I'm going to do a kind of a chalky lean here. Give me Toronto minus 13.5 in the 
in the over 215 in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, I just want to cover uh, one more game before the break, and that is going to be the Nets taking on the Hawks, 730 Atlanta. The Nets are minus two on the road, total 233 and a half. Uh, not a whole lot of movement with regard to the uh, to the number here. Pretty good two-way action on the sides. We did see a little bit of movement downward on the total. So once again, Brooklyn open and remains minus two. Total open 234, down to 233 and a hook. Right now, Atlanta's plus $1.30 at home. Pretty good price point there. But just keep in mind, Atlanta, losers of four out of their last six. And out of their 29 home games, They've been victorious in just 11 of those. Atlanta ranks at the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage, bottom 10 in offensive rebounding. They're currently in last place in the Eastern Conference at just 17 and 43 overall for the year. The Hawks rank in the bottom three in points allowed, bottom three in defensive rebounding. They're giving up 119 points per game. Now, Brooklyn on the other side, they've successfully covered the number in six out of their last nine themselves. They covered the number against the likes of Toronto and Indiana twice during that stretch. Brooklyn ranks in the top three in offensive rebounding, top five in defensive field goal percentage. They're currently in seventh place in the Eastern Conference, so if the season ended today, they would be in the playoffs. They would be facing the second seed. Now, Spencer Dinwiddie, 21 a game, four rebounds, seven assists. Karis LeVert, 16 a game, four rebounds, four assists for him. And Joe Harris, 14 points a game, four rebounds for this net squad. Brooklyn ranks in the top three in offensive rebounding on the road, top five in defensive field goal percentage. Uh, one more thing to add about Atlanta. They are really, really banged up right now. Uh, Deadman, Labissiere, Bembry, Capella, they are all out. And Jones and Young, they are listed as questionable for tonight's action. So keep an eye on them. Now, total-wise, Atlanta is 5-2 and two to the over in their last seven. 70% to the over in their last 10. I'm going to lean toward the road chalk. Give me Brooklyn minus two and the over 233.5 in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Friday's NBA action. Happy Friday to you. The weekend is finally here. Now, before we go ahead and move on, uh, just got to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we had another winning day on that site. We do daily premium sports picks on that site, beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We also have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. We went 4-1 and one in our 5 premium sports picks on that site yesterday across the board. We actually went 4-0 and the day before, so we're 8-1 and in our last couple of days. That's going to prove our record to 13-4 and in our last 17 college basketball tier package plays. We're also 10-1 and in our last 11 NBA tier package plays. And the good news is this. We have another NBA tier package play going off tonight. So if you want some more information, I have a bunch of hyperlinks in the description section below. Check out the NBA tier, and uh, that's where we've been red hot. Guys, you're probably wondering, you know, why would I buy a package from you on Patreon when I can get all the picks for free here on YouTube? And that's certainly a great thought, a great consideration. But the problem is, if you were going to bet every single game of the board, side and total with your hard-earned money, uh, it's really just a losing formula you can't win that uh, you can't win that way uh, the math becomes aggressively against you the more games the more angles you have so what i do on patreon i make life a lot easier for you i break it down to just three to four premium picks per day uh, really make life easy for you they're high percentage picks uh, games that i personally have action on and i'll tell you about you know my current patreon record is a whole lot better than it is here on youtube handicapping every single game on the board. So if you want to check out my current record, you can do that right now. It's right on the homepage. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock page, where we currently have over 1190 active members on that site. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Mavs taking on the Heat game of the night, eight o'clock Eastern tip off. Miami's minus two at home, total 228. Another one of those games, we're seeing very good two-way action here. Not a whole lot of movement with regard to the number. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of money on the over, half a point move toward the over in this one. But once again, Miami open and remains minus two. Total open 227 and a half, up to 228. Right now, Dallas is pluck, uh, plus a buck 15 on the money line. Now, if you like the Mavs in this one, uh, Willie Cauley-Stein, he's out. 
Jalen Brunson's out with a shoulder. Luka Doncic questionable with a thumb. We're looking at a Dallas squad who's just 8-9 against the spread when catching the points. They've also failed to cover in six out of their last seven games that tipped off at the current point spread. They failed to cover in their original matchup this year with Miami, and they're just 10-12 and against the spread, taking on teams over 550. Now Miami, on the other side, 23-4 and straight up at home, 18-9 and against the spread in those games. They rank the top 10 in offensive field goal percentage, top three in shooting the three ball. They're currently in fourth place in the Eastern Conference, 14 games over 500. They rank the top three in defensive rebounding, top 10 in defensive field goal percentage. Now total-wise, Miami's 5-0 and to the over in their last five, 18-9 to the over at home. Meanwhile, the Mavs, 80% to the over in their last 10 themselves, 18 and 11 to the over when they travel. I'm going to lean toward the home favorite in this one. Give me Miami minus two and the over 228 in that game.